Hi Gemini, welcome in. You're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening at whatever time you guys are watching. And this is valid for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Placement doesn't really matter. If you connect with the reading, you're going to connect to it naturally, right? And if it is not connecting with you in the first few minutes, try to watch some other reading this might not be for you never try to impose any reading on your situation we have hermit popping out here just tune in gemini and see what's cooking in your love life gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter reverse the roles if needed switch to cases this may not be reading entirely seven of cups what's going on <laughs> ash so many things around me but i don't know what to do i i cannot make a decision i cannot pick up the right thing right i see so many options so many proposals but everything is just adding on to my confusion and i'm actually afraid i'm actually afraid what if i pick up the wrong option what if i become pick up the wrong choice i'm at a very really crucial stage of my life eight of swords with the seven of cups some crucial decision making but all you're having right now is confusion right what to do very interesting message is gemini let's tune in okay nine of swords is here what are you thinking about gemini what's wrong i see heavy th heavy thinking going on overthinking going on right what else ten of cups is a connection bringing this uh, tough emotion on your mind some connection some relationship it uh, can be love, can be marriage. You connect to somebody and this person is bringing some kind of stress on your mind. Okay. For some of you, Gemini, I see that you already in some... This is very specific, right? This can be for someone out there. First storyline I, pick I picked up here is that you're already in a relationship or you're already connected to somebody, right? And uh, there's another proposal or there's another call for action. I see there is a genuine emotion of love with someone but because you're already involved with somebody i see that either you're already involved with somebody or some relationship marriage something which is going on is already there and there's someone who is calling for love right so for some of you i see a tough thought going on on your mind that there's a beginning in new love you're getting attracted to somebody but you're already in some kind of connection maybe some love lust i even heard loveless marriage can be some kids you know sometimes we are in a relationship because we have kids or there's a compromise going on or for some of you this can be um, you you are continuously getting impacted by your past relationship because there is some kind of connection can be kids can be alimony can be something which is going on right and there is a call for a beautiful relationship or new love right i see this has already happened right so you have to be careful about it i see that love is knocking your door ace of cups ten of cups it's it, it is knocking your door or in the recent past someone really tried making it happen with you but you were already involved into something and that was very confusing right let's see what else yep ten of swords the tower and the four of wands Something dramatic is unfolding here, <laughs> Gemini. Things are really turning dramatic. I see you were heavily uh, thinking about something. A lot of thoughts were going on on your mind. And then suddenly one sword came in. From 9 to 10, I see there's an upliftment. That one sword, which brought in a lot of clarity, truth, sudden dramatic news. And that was so weird. That was so dramatic that somehow that situation ended rapidly right i see from 9 to 10 there is something rapidly happening and this is coming in very quickly in no time for some of you this can be a lightning a news full of friction some lightning some thunder and this is causing a lot of thoughts on your mind but the best part here is that it is going to come in very quickly and it is going to go also very quickly right it is going to vanish also very quickly because i see that eventually you're going right now you're going through a process some inner epiphany a lot of uh, inner work and then there will be a four of wands moment so i see some sudden upliftment happening a big storm a big jerk suddenly and things will be returned to normal right so very interesting this part is actually interesting i see some tough ending here 
and then a sudden jerk coming in and things will return to normal so that's actually interesting right we have three of swords yes we have high priestess and the five of wands yes so Gemini, this is a very interesting mix of cards. I see justice energy here. Justice and the high priest is very similar emotion. I see someone heavily indulged in some work. I see work life here, right? With the high priest is being very quiet and simply focusing, focusing on your work life, right? I see there is some kind of emotional loss associated with the situation here, right? For some of you, I pick up an emotion that you have to make a very strong decision here, right? decision can be just being quiet when this proposal comes in i see that there is some kind of conflict arising because of two love situations right for some of you i see some ex relationship and some current proposal of love and there is a continuous struggle and probably that's the confusion here what should i do right some strong decision making is definitely happening here i see a tower moment manifesting here we're going to clarify it. We're going to clarify definitely. What is the Seven of Cups energy? Seven of Cups for Virgo. Oh my God. I said Virgo. Seven of Cups for Gemini. We have Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords and Seven of Cups. For some of you, uh, Gemini, I'm picking up that in the recent past, you decided that something is over. Death energy, something is over. My life has transformed. I have ended the cycle, ended the situation, I'm moving on to something else, right? I'm looking for something else. But at the same time, I see you thought it's over, but in reality, it's not, right? And the communication related to the same thing. The moment you think that, yes, it's over, I'm happy, I'm independent, I can start something of my own now, I can start something new now, boom. That information comes in and that is going to cause a lot of confusion. And that will be a moment that, oh my God, I thought it's over. I thought it's done. I can start something new now. But no, it's not. You're getting some very unexpected news here, right? And this might cause a lot of stress on your mind. Let us see what is this nine of cup. Uh, I'm sorry, ace of cups energy. I see there's a proposal of new love or opportunity, which is going to cause, which, which really brought in some kind of emotional satisfaction. I see King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Five of Swords and Eight of Wands. So, yes, there was a call. For some of you, I see that the surroundings are such that you cannot accept it right now. And this is causing some kind of thunder. The person you're dealing with who is calling for this love arrangement is getting very agitated. This can be your person or your partner. This can be your energy also. But the one who is calling here, Gemini, is getting very agitated and angry. Somehow this person is feeling that Gemini is pl playing mind games with me. Gemini is not open to love. Gemini is just wasting my time, right? This person is going through a lot of thought processes. And uh, I see they're trying to connect to you. They cr they're trying to convey this message to you. But somehow you're very defensive, right? And for most of you, I see I out of after a lot of thought, after a lot of struggle, you somehow ended that. You somehow ended that uh, chapter for you. You were like okay i'm sorry i'm done i cannot deal with it right i'm not ready for it but then something happened or the moment you turn it down the moment you think it's over ten of cups now i'm independent now i don't care boom something is striking at that moment let's see what is this ten of swords energy to the tower four of cups yes i see you rejecting something here i see four of cups six of wands you're rejecting something you're turning something down what else? Ten of Wands. Yes, this is causing some kind of burden on your mind. You're not happy about it. I see something is coming towards you with a lot of baggage. And you don't want to carry that load. You feel it's heavy. I might not carry it. Maybe the proposal coming in towards you is coming in with a lot of baggage, isn't it? Let's see what is this tower energy. What is this tower energy? What is this tower happening? Four of Pentacles, Two of Cups and Tower. Oh my God. There's some kind of love connection which you're not opening up to, Gemini. And I see the one you're dealing with. I see you sitting very stubborn. I see this is deep love connection coming towards you. But somehow you're not opening up to it. And this person is getting agitated. If you're quiet, if you're not responding to their call, Somewhere at heart, they know that Gemini is feeling the same, but they're not opening up. I see there's going to be 
an agitation, a very strong reaction I'm picking up from someone's side. Let's clarify what is this Four of Wands energy, Gemini? Four of Wands energy. I see a sudden tower moment taking place, a very quick tower moment, and everything will calm down after that as if nothing happened ever. What is this Four of Wands? We have the Devil, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Swords. For some of you, Gemini, I am continuously getting this message that some new connection, some new opportunity is knocking your door, right? But there is there is a specific situation. I see some news, some information, which is not complete. I see someone is having closed eyes here, right? I see the information is not complete, which is coming towards you from whatever particular direction, right? I see that uh, you're not getting the complete information about this proposal. You're trying to know more about it. But there is some attachment, some addiction, which is stopping you from moving towards it, Gemini. There is a chain which is stopping you from moving towards this new proposal, right? Let's clarify what is the Three of Swords. I see some kind of um, feeling that I missed an opportunity. Is it so? Let's see what is the Three of Swords. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay, three, three, three. I see you want to work over it or eventually you will realize that this situation really needs a shot, right? But because of something in between, I see things getting delayed here, right? Maybe that you're responding late and this person is losing hope in the situation. I see someone is waiting for your response. And uh, Eight of Pentacles, yes, this person might feel that uh, you're not interested and they might simply turn away. You might feel very you know, cold uh, by this gesture. I see something is calling for your action and you're too confused to react, right? Let's see what is this High Priestess. You're sitting quiet, very quiet. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Chariot and the King of Wands. For some of you, Gemini, I see that you don't want to make a mistake. You're, you're doing it very carefully. I see that you have invested a lot in a situation. You have waited a lot for something to happen three of wands seven of pentacles you've been waiting for something or you have faded a lot and it is like a childhood dream for you i'm picking up actually a childhood dream or uh, some kind of uh, childhood thought here right can be related to your kids and the mom i see there will be positive movement forward because i see the one you're dealing here with is very attracted to you right for some of you i see you're dealing or you're working with someone who is having strong passion for you right and eventually there will be some kind of movement in the situation i do see chariot here but for most of you i pick up that there's a lot of confusion within you and that's why you're not reacting to this thing right five of wands page of wands okay so i i do see a lot of conflict here a lot of conflict on your mind you do want to initiate it but there is a lot of conflict here okay I see Page of Wands. What is this Page of Wands energy? Eight of Cups. You are not trusting the situation. You're making a very strong decision. You're turning something down here. What is this Eight of Cups? Yep, Hermit. Okay, we started with the Hermit. Some of you, I'm getting two messages here, Gemini. One is that there is a proposal coming in. You are getting attracted to it, but somehow there is something within you which is stopping you from which is stopping you from moving forward in that direction, right? You might feel that this is not the right time to open up to it, or for some of you, I even see that there is some kind of regret associated also that I'm turning down such a beautiful opportunity. But at the same time, the intuition is telling you not to go there, right? For rest of you, Gemini, I pick up another storyline where there is an opportunity suddenly coming in towards you this is an opportunity of love right that is going to come in as very sudden and very quick but at the same time i see that you don't trust it i see you have a lot of doubts about it right and uh, your intuition is telling you that there's something toxic and unhealthy in this situation i don't have to go there let's have some advices for you gemini i see a very clumsy situation here and uh, there's definitely love on the horizon and the kind of proposal you wanted it's somehow appearing to be the same but your heart is doubting i see that there are doubts reserved or for some of you i see that there is a proposal and uh, you are spying more and more about it and somewhere at heart you're feeling that no i shouldn't be going there right this is not the right place to invest what else 
We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Exactly. I see the decision being presented to you right now is very tough and very harsh, right? And your intuition is stopping you from going there. So if not completely turning it down, I see some kind of delay or an intentional postpone is happening here. And you're simply choosing to focus on the lighter side of life here. You don't want to look at the stressful situation. Imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So again, this somehow connects to law of attraction, imagination and intuition, right? So listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition in the situation, acceptance. I'm learning to accept things that I cannot change. So I see that in the recent past, there was some kind of acceptance missing, right? Maybe this was because the confusion that was going on on your mind. The things were quite uh, clumsy here. So you were not accepting some situation, but I see that coming back here, doubt. I, I released the need to know all the answers. Again, call to listen to your intuition, Gemini. Something is very unexpected and shocking taking place here. I see there is a need to just loosen up a little. I see very tight situation here, hermit. And, okay, a lot of cards. And devil, tower. A lot of cards which show me that you're holding very tight to something here. We have passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Again, the message, the advice coming in, just loosen up a bit, right? I see you're not trusting some situation because of some bad past experiences or just some bad advices also I'm, I'm, I'm getting for someone, right? Bad advices. So do not listen to those advices which bring in overthinking, right? We also have deep in your heart, you already know the answer, do what feels right. Again, strong message of listening to your intuition, Gemini. Listen to your intuition. Sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find the true bliss. <laughs> Again, strong cards of passion, king of wands, devil, a reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that it will work out for the best. So very interesting messages. I see a lot of confusion surrounding a love connection. The only advice is coming out right now. Give it some time. Take a break. Think deeper. There's a lot of passion and attraction in the situation. But at the same time, your intuition is telling you something. And do listen to it. Do not avoid what your intuition is saying in this situation, Gemini. So these are the messages I have for you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Bye-bye.